Hey, what's up YouTube? Ed Brock here. Today I'm going to show you exactly how much melted aluminum you'll get by melting down 24 beer cans and Dr. Pepper cans. Um, I'm going to be melting them in my electric foam that I built. Instead of using propane, it just seems like it's more efficient. I go through a lot of propane and this seemed like an, an easier way to, to get this done. But with that being said, first I'm going to crush these all up to make it easier to fit in the crucible. And I will show you the electric kiln. And if you'd like to know how to build one, leave a comment. And I'll see if I can go about putting up a video and getting it made. All right, be right back. Here we are. We're back at our uh, electric kiln. And as you can see, just a simple build. Coils. Door stays on. PID controller, sorry, it's kind of dark. And once we get this going, we'll come back and uh, show you, give you an update. Hey, we're back. I got my uh, 24 cans. We're going to start crushing these. And we'll just do these one by one. And just step on them. And I'm going to show you this whole video of me crushing, so we'll come back in a minute. And we're back. I got my uh, 24 cans crushed. I got the kiln ready to go. Let's plug her in. Remove the plate. Fahrenheit 63.8 We can see it's starting to glow already Put that on and we'll let that heat up and the melting point of aluminum for all you people that don't know is Roughly 1220 degrees. We have our set at 1560. We're already up to 105, 7, 9. We'll let that go until that heats up and we'll add more cans and we'll go from there. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll be right back in a minute. Hey, what's up guys? We're back and we're at 1334 degrees and we're going to add a few more uh, little muffins. Let's see how this pans out. Keep adding and let them heat up. Right now we're at 1318 degrees, 17 dropping. It, because of the electric kiln, it 
cools off pretty fast. So we gotta go fast. Gotta trap the heat in. Alright guys, here we are. Still at 1278 degrees. Even though it got up, we let a lot of heat out. But it will heat back up really fast. As you can see the, the soot that's rising from the cans and the oxidation of the ink and everything that's being printed. There's a lot of crap that goes involved with melting aluminum cans. So you have to take that into consideration. So this is what we have left. What do we have? One, two, three, four. We have 13 cans left out of the 24 that were initially going to melt. Here we are back. It's 1,283 degrees. And this is pretty much a prime temperature. I've gotten this kiln up to about 1,500 I really don't push it any higher because I don't need to for what I'm melting. What I'm doing, I could go higher, but we're going to melt this and we're going to melt it into this little mini metal dog print pan that we have right here. Let's get a close up. As you can see, it's melted. I've melted a lot of other ones. Those were Christmas ones that I melted, and I'm doing this just for show, just to enlighten you guys. Hopefully, somebody appreciates it and subscribes. All right. So we're going to keep going and we're going to keep melting more. Hey, what's up guys? I uh, had to switch cameras because the other one died. This is what we got. Move that.
and that's basically all you're gonna get off of let's see if it's hot yep it's super hot So, here you go. This is out of twenty four beer cans. This is what you get. It might not look like a lot, but this is recording on an iPhone, so there you go. I hope this helps anybody out. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Thanks for watching.